Now we got an excellent connection. What the heck, everybody? What the heck? Excellent connection. All right, kids. We're here for an hour of revelations. Little revelations to end the long Easter weekend, if you had a long weekend. I had a long weekend. It was a good weekend. Good weekend. I'm doing some last load of laundry. My laundry is going to dry. So that's why I figure up here for like an hour. Go do my laundry. Get my laundry done. These pickles that I have in front of me are like all the way over here. And I'm just getting whiffs of them. They have to be spicy. Robert says I have to try them. So we will be trying them. So I wonder, do you remember... Mm. No, Big D's not. We got Big D finally put down, I think. He's okay now. He's okay. We think. We think. Clean the apartment. No, this is Revelations. We're not cleaning the apartment. I'm like Big D. I took the trash out, so I cleaned. I am. <sighs> Heavens. Last published content streamed. I did not stream. This stream's wanky. Wanky, wanky. Invisibility. Private. Until I figure out how to go in and do that. That's weird. YouTube is weird tonight. It's weird. But yeah, we're good. We're good. We finally got Big Dig D all figured out. Like, I'm just trying to, like, I told her, like, I would do everything I can in my greatest possibility to make sure you have tons of money to blow. But we're just trying to get it that you can, like, support yourself and not have to depend on other people, which is me. And he's, like, kind of okay with that, but then he's also... And we got these Sucker Punch Pickles, kids. Sucker Punch Pickles. Oh, right there, right there. I a little ranch dressing in there. I got two of them. There might be Monday night skills. Yeah, I have to talk to OP because we each still have 60, but yeah. So, I got a little baby carrot. A little, not a carrot, a baby pickle, which I'm going to eat this. Look how small it is. It's small, Robert. Whew. I'm just going to dive in. No ranch. I got some ranch in my bowl, too, but... Wow. Those are pretty freaking hot, Robert. Wow. That was only just like one bite full. We're going to try it with a ranch to see if it's any bit more tolerable. The ranch helps a lot. That actually kind of makes it taste really better because it's got that the spice. See, like the spice itself is tastes good, but the ranch helps you out. It doesn't. It makes you tolerate it. Huh. As Stacy said, it's probably going to make me run the dumper. Run the dumper, kids. But yeah, that's got some heat. Now I got to find out if Adam, you know, which is Stacy's husband, he likes really spicy stuff. I don't know. I don't know if he would go for that. I'll have to ask him if he's ever had sucker punch pickles. Because I think they've had spicy pickles in the past. What's two in the morning? Running the dumper. Hopefully we take care of it before that A. <laughs> oh my. But 
did, yeah, so I did that. You know, finished out RUF Big D, did the premiere, working on my last load of laundry for the weekend. Yeah, just wrapping up things here. Yeah, I will not be drinking that pickle juice. Woo! Again. Tolerable with the ranch. And I actually like the pickle with the ranch. It's not like, oh my god, it's so hot. The ranch helps you out. Quite a bit. To the point that I like it. If without it, it'd be like, oh my god, that's just so freaking hot. Oh, God. No April Fool's jokes on Big D. He can't handle that. It would still be, but Junior, you said. Hi, Austin. We're trying the sucker punch pickles that Robert bought me. Then I dropped the whole jar yesterday, so I went to the store and bought some so we could still try them. Very hot. I'm very surprised it, but we got a little bit of ranch dressing and um which it's making it tolerable. Mm. Yeah, I think that does have a nice taste, Robert. I mean if you could tolerate it without it, probably. But I think the ranch really adds to it. You know, in my opinion. Oh, shit, I still got a little ball of fireball down here. But I still have, um, um, what do I have? I have brownies I need to eat, too. So, so the, it's making my nose run, which means it's really spicy and it's working, but yeah. And it's making me fart. So yeah, I think I can already feel it already. I think it's already burning my butt. My ass hurts so bad. I would have to post that if I could. She says, I'm like, Carolina. Oh. No, Carl doesn't like spicy stuff at all. <laughs> he probably loses his mind. I'll report back, Robert. Yeah. What's up, Gerald? Happy Easter. Good evening. I think that you're going to feel that going all the way through your system, I think. Woo-wee! Good news is I did have the Chinese um, flow after when I got home. So there is some good news there. But something tells me war will be flowing before I go to bed today. Woo! But tomorrow is also April 1st. And something at work I have to reset every single month, and tomorrow's the reset day. So I may go in after this and log in quick, and it'll take me like two minutes. But so it's done, and we dive into April. Oh, it was really good, yeah. And then she gave me leftovers, and then I eat that, and I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did people win some money? I, yeah, I didn't catch it. I think I was being Officer Officer Miller and then yelling at Big D. Yeah, that stream was a shit show. And then at the end, I double tased someone, and then I ended up. What did it, I think? What the guy said? Don't I have a family? And I'm like, Psh. I fucking tased him, and I didn't get any points. But yeah, nice. Oh, well, I could. I, I could give out cash opposed to lottery tickets. I mean, I do that every single month, Austin. But, yeah. Mm. 
mm, mm, mm. I just make you. I just make you work for it. I make you work for it, opposed to giving you cash. Damn, damn kids. Uh, right. Ah, oh, okay, Gerald. No worries. But see, I like my concept better, kind of just like Nikita, how she won $500. I'll, right time, right place, right ticket, you can win 500 bucks. Like, you just, like, you, keep, you get to keep the gamble going. Like, you're basically getting a free gamble. And I think that's fun. Oh, gosh, Robert. I think it's starting to give me a brain aneurysm. I think my eye's starting to tweak a little bit from that shit. <laughs> It's making my nose run too, so I guess if I need that, if I have um, sinus um, congestion, just take some of those pickles. And... <sighs> yeah, three hot peppers. The spices, I think, really, it does have a good taste to it, uh, but yeah. I saw they have a different types of um, those, they're, they're not all, um, but yeah. You're turning a little red. Ooh. Maybe I should have did this one live from I'm live from the toilet and my bedroom. <laughs> oh, I have it. But yeah, no, it was a good weekend though. It was a fun weekend. East Easter's done and done. So now the next long weekend is Memorial Day weekend for the Super Stream. We're going to start planning the Super Stream. I'm already thinking of going to Northumberland, which we went there one time before and went to the Nori Puffs. But I might go to that smoke shop that's next to my parents. But yeah. You're going to ruin a pair of them new underwear. I might. So yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. I told my parents I might come over for the check out as long as they're cool with filming. I don't want to go over there. But I know there's a pub, the Puffs Northumberland is like right there too. But <laughs> I never got a nap today either. It's horrible. Horrible, but I feel like I had so much sleep this weekend that's okay. But yeah. I probably should have stuffed myself. I stuffed myself on leftovers and dessert before I came here. So I had the pickle. I'd like to add something to my palate to kind of cool it down a little bit. But I'm like, I'm not even hungry. I'm like, I don't think I can put anything else in my stomach. So we're just going to work it through, work it through. If I run to the bathroom, just know I'll be okay. I can get through this. That, those are my revelations. I thought it would be good for a revelation for a hot pickle. But yeah, anything else exciting this weekend, everybody? We did not have any drama on the channel, so that was nice. That was nice. On a burger, yeah, that would actually probably be good, Robert, yeah. That would help take some of the heat away, too. Hell yeah. What's up, Michelle? We're having some Diet Coke up in here. 
There might be a little bit of extra in it, but just Diet Coke. It's just Diet Coke to you, Michelle. Uh, Ooh, excuse me. Huh. How's it going, Michelle? Yeah, good boy, Kenny. Just Diet Coke, Michelle. Just Diet Coke. Mm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured it's Sunday. Come on, say hello. I know a lot of people are with family because it's Easter, but... I figure I'd come on for a little while. I'm usually here for like an hour, but if it's just a small group of us, I may hop off even here at 6.30, but unless somebody else has anything else to discuss. You're in pain, but nothing new. I know, Michelle, I know. Eek. Eek. Speaking of that, ooh, I need to take gabapentin. I have not taken my nighttime gabapentin all weekend. I should probably take that tonight to get back in the groove. I was a bad boy, yeah. Uh. But yeah, heavens to heavens to Pepsi, everybody. And I think you haven't eaten the Easter egg already. You have eaten, yeah, absolutely. Um, so going back on, um, we they brought it up about the the transgender holiday. I think that popped up again. There was such outrage about it. I think it was actually created in 2023, specifically for March 31st. I don't think this was the first year of it. At least that's what I could tell. It wasn't meant specifically to be on Easter. Like, everyone was all in an uprage. I'm like, I think they put it into place last year when Easter wasn't on March 31st. So, I kind of figured that to be the case. I'm like, because that's kind of crazy. You know, because everyone's like, oh, to get votes. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't think so, but... It could be wrong. I was going to look that up again. Transgender Day. We'll put 2023 to see if it comes up. Trump campaign assails Biden for declaring Easter Sunday as Transgender Day. But was it, though? Was it? I need to look and see. Oh, Easter egg in the cemetery. Oh, Okay. Yeah, enough people. The International Transgender Day of Visibility was March 31st, 2023. It was not specific. It was not specific to this year. That's kind of what I figured. I'm like, because even that's kind of fucked up. But yeah, Trump attacks Biden over Easter coinciding with Transgender Day of Visibility. Well, you know what? It is what it is. What the hell? Whatever. In fact, it. Oh, uh, because in the cemetery, probably. Uh, he would make it legal for men to rape women. Oh, goodness. Happy Easter to you. But anyway, you want to get a little political bullshit on this Revelations Day? There was one. I just, yeah, like it still makes no sense. And then when I brought that up, like nobody had a like a response back. And then I saw it. It's, yeah, it's 2023. I'm like, it's crazy and kind of is. I'm not even going to say it's unfortunate that it falls on Easter in 2024, but... Because at the end of the day, it has nothing, nothing to do with Easter. So it just, it just is what it is, you know, like freaking crazy, p crazy people. I have, I put Big D in his place, Michelle. Yes, it took a while. 
It took a while. I told him. I got him to calm down. I calmed down. And I pretty much told him that he... We also got to the point we just want to kill ourselves and it's not worth being alive. And then I told him, I'm like, well, you need to find yourself. You need to find Jesus. You need to find this to work through this. And because there's nothing that I can say. There's nothing that dad can say. You need to... Unfortunately, you need to work this through yourself. He also knows there's hotlines out there that he can talk to because I know he's called them in the past. And I'm just like... And, yeah, so I we think we're good now, I think. But it's hard. It's hard to forgive him after with the things he says. But, yeah, it's, it's all a learning thing. But. Uh, really, Robert? Really? That seems a little wild, but. Don't pay any attention to Robert Kaczynski, everybody, when you try to make your decision who you're going to vote for in 2024. I think that's probably a bit much without fact-checking. I should become a fact-checker with Google. I'm getting good at fact-checking. Oh. oh, they're making it up. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh, my heavens. Heavens, everybody. But, yeah, we're good for now, I reckon. But, yeah. But I told him, I'm like, you end this shit. Do not talk about it for the rest of the night. And I'm like, and if you act like you did today one more time before payday, it's absolutely I'm done. And you're getting Instacart food to you. And that's the end of my, my end of part of this job. Like, I'm not doing that. And so you try to scare the kid a little bit, but you don't give a shit. <laughs> Hey, don't give a shit. You have to be careful with that pickle juice, too. I made sure that I didn't touch it. Because if you touched it and touched your eye, I think even if you, like, touched your nose, it would get in there. Ooh. <sighs> Say, woo! <laughs> and... The new 90 Day Fiance is like talking about other couples that have already been on the show. And it's literally couples that were on the last last season. I'm like, we just ended this. It just ended this. I'm like, so I don't I haven't even been watching it on Discovery Plus. So my my um Sunday nights have been pretty free, so Sounds like it's strong shit. It is. Can you come over, Robert? I'll share some with you. <laughs> we can bring it. It'll still be in my fridge probably until Memorial Day. If you come over to the Rusty Rail, you and Walt come over. I can bring it. You can put them on your burger at Rusty Rail. <laughs> Welcome back, Gerald. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I don't have my, I don't really have much going on either. Really until Super Stream, Super Stream. Walt is Walt is is Walt is not here, but he is in Robert's house. So where is Walt? Is he sleeping or is he scratching lottery tickets or is he passed out? Hi, Misty. Welcome back. He probably is, yeah. He already said Rusty Rail Super Stream. Michelle's tired. I bet you are. We're all calm now, Misty. You walked into the to the uh, police simulator, and I was kill losing my mind with Big D. Everything's okay now. It takes some time, but we eventually get there. We got there as a family because I put my dad on the call and like here, just just let's listen to this. And I threatened my dad, I'm like, I'm going to give you this job. <laughs> Work on the Samsung. It's fine, even if it doesn't, Gerald, because if not, he's going to use it on Wi-Fi. He doesn't even need, at the end of the day, he doesn't even really need cell service. 
But yeah, I would imagine those SIM cards are tied to the carrier or the phone, but... Jake, ooh, check out Alfredo. Ooh, that sounds good. Are they on spring break right now, Michelle? Probably. They're, I know Pete Kids are on spring break here in the U.S. Didn't, didn't it work even on Wi-Fi? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, big deal figured out. If not, he'll just throw it in the dumpster, Gerald. So, Easter half term. Okay. Well, best to everything in the appointments. And you can't tell him that, Gerald, though, either, because he knows everything about everything. So, yeah, so you could, you could even get in the way and caution him. He'd be like, no, Junior, it's got to work. And then it doesn't work, and then he loses his mind. And... Hmm. Well, I hope that goes well, Michelle, yeah. Yeah, they are... Um... In the ALD world, they are trying. There's some people trying to get newborn screening in um, in the UK. There has been certain countries. I think in the is it the Netherlands? I think I believe they're screening for newborn screening. They're also now trying to get Canada. They're trying to get all these countries on board to understand what could be the importance of screening for rare diseases. But I think they said the UK is a tough cookie to crack to try to get in the radar. But yeah, I just, yeah, you won't know. You won't know, Gerald. Exactly. What's up, kiddies? How's it going, all? Ollie, you don't want that ranch dressing. Whoa! Whoa, Ollie, whoa. Ollie's trying to get in the ranch dressing. You don't want that ranch dressing with the spicy pickle, Ollie. I almost thought you were, like, pushing the rollator away. Maybe I did put whiskey in my cup, Michelle. I thought the rollator was tipping over. It was just moving towards me. Uh, genetic testing, yeah. I know they have some, like a lot of countries have some, but as far as like, like what they, you know. Is that pickles with alcohol? No, they were spicy pickles. Where is Big D? Who knows? <laughs> we already did Officer Miller time. No, I, I actually have. I got to get this laundry done. I have a few things I got to do before I go to bed. So, even though I'm done here, there won't be a Miller time. But yeah, uh, poor Ollie. I did. After all that, I did need a stiff drink. Although I was having a stiff drink at the time, and it wasn't doing it, so I needed one more to polish it off. But we're going to make Tuesday Officer Miller time. You had pickles or an alcohol? Okay. No, these are just spicy pickles. Tuesday's Officer Miller time. Tomorrow we'll probably do skills, probably. He's going to be screaming into the night. Probably. Oh, he's over here. He's like, I want to get in that ranch dressing. Don't get in the ranch dressing. But, yeah, so that's what we do. Would do. And then again, the weekend's coming up. Um, JP needs max bets tomorrow. Probably not. I only have $60, JP. But see, there's Big D. He's here. 
Um, yeah. So but then again, next weekend I don't have much going on. So you'll probably get much more Officer Miller time next weekend. Um, but yeah. No, after dark on Sunday, it's a school night, Gerald. <laughs> I'm not starting after dark, and the ladies haven't been starting them either. Just because of all the drama we have that happens when I'm not here, so. It's a, it's a school night. <laughs> so, yeah, we pretty much only do those Fridays and Fridays, some Saturdays, depending on what's going on Saturday, but most, most, but. Because I have to quit drinking at a certain part, Gerald. That way I don't wake up tomorrow still intoxicated, so. <laughs> huh. See, Big D says we're good. Are we? Are we? I guess we're good, but I don't know. I've already given you your warning. You act like today, another day, and I'm out ski. So that hopefully maybe maybe put a little fear in your say but i doubt it but yeah my freaking blood pressure earlier was freaking not out of this off the charts Oh, shit, where's Brando at? I was at Carl's parents' house, and I forgot it was the end of the month, and I can play on two of the casinos, $10. I put in $10 on the one. I had it up to 14 I lost it. And then freaking Poker Stars, I ended up clearing... I think I ended up cashing out 47 altogether, and I put in 20 So I was up 27 bucks. So I'm like, hey, winner, winner. And I got a flipping re-trigger on the Lightning Horseman. I filled the whole board. And then I was on... Um, um, what the hell's that game? That game. I can't remember it. But it's the one that has all the wilds. You can get all the wilds. Um, Beanstalk. Beanstalk. It has all the wilds. You can get. I got all the wilds. I got the harps. I had seven spins. I'm like, this is. I was on a dollar a spin on nickels. I'm like, this is going to be huge. It was like $27. I'm like, what the fuck? But I still did make some money, so. What's up, Doug? Somebody scream about something. Okay, we don't do we were my ass is gonna be screaming here pretty shortly, Robert. So that's why I only ate two for my own well being. But everything feels a little fiery. Like even in my chest, it's like whoo, things are on fire. It is you guys changed your clocks then, Michelle. It's eleven thirty. Good night. Oh now we're getting iPhone SE two. See, is that the one that cost more? Big D's also disappointed in me that I can't keep all the model numbers and how much they cost. But I can't, yeah. Oh, heavens, Daniil. I did not lie about my skill wins. I just said they were shoving me some loving. I did get some good bonuses on those new games. See it. But good night, Michelle. Oh, wait, that one's 99. So... But you said, I'll wait till May. So you're not getting it in April. But it still only costs $99. How well... Huh. Tenille Wanpig? Nice. 
So we might as well say April then, because Big D's not going to be able to wait till May. Let's be frank here. He's definitely it's happening. The 16th, everybody. 16th, Junior. Doug. Bad, Derek. Bad. <laughs> I mean, ideally, Big D, I'll be Jerry. I'm Jerry, but I'll be Frank. Someone needs to be Frank. Here's the deal, Big D. Like, if you would give up that, we're just going to say 90, because 99 is a number that was pulled out of the ass, so I think you can get an iPhone SE too. But if you just give up the 90, and then you just give up, like, another 90 at some point, which hopefully I should be able to put away if I only give you 90, that's all I'm asking for. I must have like a $200 buffer, ideally. And then I think we can go back to our normal budget where, you know, at one point it was 300 but I think with everything else you got going on, probably two to 250 a month. I want that to happen, honestly. Although you're still going to argue with me, I want that to happen. But I just want like a little buffer so you can pay your bills, I pay mine. Life's good. That's all I'm asking for. And I know we agreed upon, oh, uh, but the, the, what we thought was going to happen absolutely did not happen. So now I need you to work with me here. I need you to see that and not be like, oh, Junior lied to me. I did, That's all I'm asking for, all I've ever asked for. But you know what 11 means? What's that, man? I'm so confused. What's 11 mean? Thank you, Gerald. Thank you. Big T knows that too, but again, it's like it might be some good tough love if, I, if he continued to be an ass to me. I'll cut that shit right off. They kept me in a you know, different amount each month. I cut it off. Oh, wow. Huh. That's crazy. What was, was that through like one of the big companies, Misty? Or. AT&T, I got them down now. Since I've upgraded to the iPhone 15, my bill went down like 10 bucks a minute. It was 120. We're down to 110 now. So, Jump. Oh, that was AT&T. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Oh, it's, I don't lie to everyone. But it's like everyone's looking, like, looking at me. They're like, the lies. But you said, Junior. I know. I know. Austin's being my little troll tonight. I kind of like it. He's upset that there was no big skill wins. But the fact that I played for the whole session and I completely broke even, to me, that's a huge win these days. So I was happy with that. I even told the girl at the counter. She always asked me, how'd you do? And I'm like, even Steven. And I'm okay with that. I can live to play another day. They're stuffing hard-boiled eggs up their buttocks late for Easter. Huh. Hell yeah, even Steven is a win. Because like, I had to make up for my losses at the, at the fucking truck stop. Although it was only $80, but it was still a good time. I did have fun. But yeah, it's end of the month. I did my end of the month, although I didn't. I have to go and well, see while we're here. Let's go pay that shit. Let's go pay that shit. Junior always lie about your skill winnings. I do not. You're just seeing more into it. My balance is eighteen dollars and thirty cents. My but I've already paid my February balance. Oh wow. Oh. So I can't pay any more than that just because I bought the Wendy's this morning. 
The apple cart is some shenanigans. That's why I'm stuffed right now, Robert. And there was freaking brownies with peanut butter icing. Oh, my heavens, they're so good. Carl's mom, she is a good cook. She always takes care of us. We're like, oh. But I then I threw some spicy pickles on there too. I think I might get my results for Friday. Ah, okay. Well, maybe it'll be easier once you're in person, Gerald, maybe. So they can give it to you straight, hopefully. Carl's mom is my second mom. I've known Carl's mom since again, me and Carl were we became friends in kindergarten, and I've known his parents just as long. Because I used to call, because his dad, he's also a junior, as am I. So I would also call and try to talk to Carl Jr., because you can't call it Carl Sr. And uh, we used to go to their house, and I'll never forget. They used to have one of those, like, pizza makers. Like, the pizza, you can put the bread, and it makes them, like, crispy. We used to go there and have pizza sandwiches at his parents' house. That was that was the highlight of my my childhood. And then when we got older, I decided to spend the night where Carl's up like macking on women on AOL chat rooms until fucking 4 a.m. And I'm just trying to get some damn sleep on the floor. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Is your mom a good cook? What's what dish you love that your mom makes? Yes. Mac and cheese. She makes great mac and cheese. Very good mac and cheese. Carl was horrible again. We do take baths together, yes. Yeah, those little sandwich bakers. I have one somewhere in here, Tanil. I think it's in my cupboard over there. I remember I got one and it recreated my childhood memories. Yeah, because Carl was Scotty too slotty back in. No, Scotty too hotty. Not slotty, hotty. Although I think somebody was Scotty too slotty in the slot community. Scotty too hotty. What kind of chicks on in AOL and chat rooms would not want to talk to Scotty too hotty? He's obviously got a big penis. You know. The two fatsos. A sandwich maker. You put bread, Austin, and then you can put like toppings in the center. Like we used to do pizza, pizza sauce, pepperonis. And then you close it and it grills them. Yeah. No, I did not low roller because I still can't find the block list. But don't worry about it. We're playing skills tomorrow. I won't be on that channel. So, Did he do the worm? I know. Seriously, Gerald. Oh, my God. But, yeah. Good memories. We had good memories. And then I remember before then they lived in their old house, they lived in the middle of the woods. And I remember it was always fun to hang out. You, you could go on adventures. And then they moved to where they live now, as parents live now. But you guys should see it. Like, they have their original house. It was in the back. It was like a single wide trailer, but they had, like, extensions and bump outs. So it, it was much bigger than what it was. But then... That house is still at the back, and then when they put in their, their new house, which it's been now like 10 years, um, they still got the, the trailer in the back. So they've got cats all over the place. There's like cats climbing on the roof, and, but like the roofing is completely like collapsed now. I told his dad he needs to put a tin roof on it. That way the pussies have some place to live. But <laughs> you silly Austin. Yeah, you got to move to California. 20 bucks an hour. Boring. I thought when friends came over. Yeah, but as boys, you know. iPhone SE today. SE2. You got to change your name. SE2. <laughs> wow, Austin. You get $20 an hour. Your life changed forever. Buy crypto with the difference. Oh, my. But I, I'm just trying to add Big D. I'm just trying to get through to Big D that I'm not out to 
to cause him frustrations and troubles. It was like, but I just can't predict the future. You know, I can budget, but I can't predict how it's going to go. And when you have no money in the bank to kind of differentiate for the ups and the downs, it makes it very hard. And like, we're just trying to get to a point, which I believe we can still get there, but ah, it's crazy. Somebody start some shit. What do you want to talk about? I mean, yeah. I've been trying to piss off Ken. Nah, you're not going to piss me off, Austin, but yeah. And, all right, there you go. I hope Biden bans Virginia skills to 2040. Oh, heavens. We know Big D can work at Best Buy. I don't think that's happening. Who does Low Roller want to see become president? There we go. <laughs> wow, Robert. I would be your brother, Gerald. I would. So, yeah, who does Low Roller want to see become president in his little world there? I'm kind of curious if he cares to share an offer. Because, yeah, you gotta, you got to vote for somebody that's going to get your skill machines back. Can you please buy me the new iPhone even though I'm poor? Well, in this case, it's pretty much using the money that we had earmarked. So he's not even borrowing money from me. I cut that off because I know that's not going to work after all this crazy shit this weekend. But, oh, okay, so you want to vote for the Kennedy guy since he's pro-crypto. There you go, low roller. You vote for whoever you want to vote for. Crypto's a scam. Oh, shit. You tell him, Josh. You tell him. Well, usually, Ger Gerald, Revelations is one of the only times that we allow, like, full-fledged, like, political talk attacks, if you must. But most people are willing to do that. But how much cups of alcohol is that? This is cup number two since I got back from Carl's parents' house. Not enough, but I'm feeling better now. I was getting pretty, I was getting pretty hyped up, but yeah. Yeah. So, but Robert wants more. He wants like full blown attacks, but hopefully not. You know, that. Yeah. Sometimes people will call in and they give their political, you know, shit. And Trump will just print unlimited money again by giving tax cuts to the rich. It causes more inflation again. Oh shit! Low rollers dropping the mic. I am not in Cup 15. I wish I was. If I didn't go to my Carl's parents' house, I would be on Cup 15 by now. But I had to take a break and go for Easter. But next Saturday, get back to me. Next Saturday, I have absolutely nothing going on. It's going to be a... I'm already seeing all day Officer Miller. And I don't know what we're going to do in the evening. But yeah. But I'm thinking just... Whatever I do, I'm just full-blown. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to get drunk, like, all day. Just because I can. Um, the full-blown attacks don't happen until after dark. Yeah, sometimes. But with late, it's been it a great weekend overall. I did not get a sex bunny, no. Yeah, but we got cheap gas, though, Robert. Fucking shit. Although we began some Joe Biden gas at some of the stations. Pretty cheap. <laughs> Fucking shit. And then sometimes, Gerald, this is generally how it happens here. I'd say I'm only going to be here for an hour, and then I'm here for like an hour and a half, two hours. Once the alcohol really starts to get flowing, I like to start talking, and I talk, and I talk. I don't have much. I actually just have to put my clothes away tonight, and I want to log into work and get next. I want to get April set up, and that's about it. Um, the country was shut down due to people crying of COVID. I know, right? But fucking cheap gas. 
Yeah, the companies that give wage increases. Companies just use money for stockpile. Oh, shit. Low ruler should be a politician. I'm staying very quiet. Okay, you don't have to. You know, if politics causes people to... If politics does cause some people to get so bad out of shape. The, I've seen friendships be broken over politics. It's sad. But I'm surprised you don't live in a tank of alcohol. Who, <laughs> low roller? Hopefully you're talking about low roller. <laughs> Uh, oh, are you talking about me as far as getting drunk? Oh, I see alcohol. I get it. Shit. Shit, Austin. We need to go up some damn bay breezes. When am I coming to Mohegan Sun again? What are we doing? April? I don't know. When are we, when are we going to Mohegan Sun again? Ask mom when we're going to Mohegan Sun again. You guys go like every weekend, but. That's good. It's not worth it, Gerald. Ah, uh, fuck you, Austin. I'll be out some one of these days. I got twenty dollar in free play. That can huff and puff my ass. Let's go. Oh shit, low roller. He does care about me. Cause when he puts his hands up in the air and he's like, that means he cares about me. Oh, that's right! The baby's born! Understand. JP needs it next week. $100 Wheel of Fortune. Understood, though. Yeah, I probably not. I was going to be gambling in May, but now it's just super stream, so. I might literally just save my excess cash in April and May. Which, if I do that, that literally should pay for my airfare to Katie's wedding, so... Then the rest of the money just goes towards yeah, Reno bankroll. And, and then we're doing the Donald Trump dance. Like, yeah. Yeah. You can have a little bit in May, but only just a little bit. A little fucking huff and puff my ass in the fucking crappy buffalo at Mohegan. I will make skill game legal tax free all 50 states. Make crypto tax free all 50 states. That's a lot of tax for free, low roller. Shit. No, Gerald, it's not Austin's baby. It's what? Your. Your. It would be your. What is it? Wait. Your sister's baby, yeah. It's a sister's baby. Is it a boy or a girl? So I was going to say niece or nephew, but I forget. Did you tell me? I think you told us, but yeah. We don't know what Papa Josh's kids yet. We're still waiting to find out a gender. So it'll be the nephew, so it's a boy. Even casino and lottery. Everything's tax-free with low roller being... In charge, back and right. Where do what? What else are you gonna tax though to make the system work? Because again, taxes fund things, low roller. So what are you cutting? Or are you gonna tax other things? Let's listen to low rollers as president plan. Uh, we don't know. It's gonna be coming out, Becky Keeney. <laughs> Probably. Fat fuck. Is it your turn to have a baby? Never, JP. Hell to the no, no babies coming from me. ALD stops here. ALD stops in my balls and it ain't going any further. Sorry, JP. <laughs> yeah, I only look like I'm pregnant. <laughs> right? Seriously, Gerald. <laughs> Biffs. Mm. ALD ends in the bowls. Mm. 
Wow, wow, enough with the fat shaming. Then your fat shaming little man over there. That's Carl's mom, little man. That's his name, little man. He's a big boy. He was letting me pet him on the table. Where's Ollie? He's up in his cat tower. He's freaking out. He's snoozing. But yeah, little man, I was trying to like rub his belly. And he would take it, but then he started fucking biting my hand. Little man did not want to. <laughs> He's a big boy. But yeah, his mom's like, oh, that's my little man. But, oh, little man. Adorable. I actually got Ollie last night not to sleep on me. I rolled it. So he came over at 3 a.m. that we do every day. I mean, the days where I wake up at like 4.15 to go to work, it's not so bad. But freaking Saturday, Sundays when I don't have to wake up till like 6.30, 7 o'clock. Yeah. But I rolled over and I had a fleece blanket next to me. He actually slept on the fleece blanket then. I'm like, yeah, exactly. Like, like they won't sleep in my bed unless they're sitting on me. I'm like, I'm like there's more out there. But yeah. <laughs> Ollie is now 12, I think. 12-ish. Because Kit is borderline 14, 15. But... And the other yells for petting. <laughs> Aww. Oh No, yeah, he's... No, little man's bigger than Ollie. Little man. He's a good kitty. He's all good kitty. Oh, he's a good kitty. I want to go over to Stacy's house and rob one of those little baby kitties, too. I told Carl if you have to... Because Carl will take them if he's rescuing, but we're, it was a rescue. Because Ollie and Kit were both rescues because the mother abandoned them, but, yeah. I know... Go watch the channel, Ollie, the official mascot of the Lotto King. I posted that video so long ago. Oh, go watch that video. He was adorable. It'll make you cry a little bit. It gets tears in my eyes. Cool. Yeah, it was adorable. And we had to bottle feed them. I'll never forget when I had to bottle feed them when Carl wasn't here. And he would kick with his freaking back paws. Oh, he used to hurt so bad with his feet. He got his claws out. But was he as far back then, too? Was his fat? No, it was adorable. Go watch that video. Look it up. Ollie, the official mascot of the Lotto King. Robert, I'm burping spicy pickles right now. But again, I'm not fully anti those pickles, though. But you got to be soaked in ranch. No. Oh, my phone would not crash. Little Ollie. Little Oliver. I don't know where Kit's been hiding. I don't know if Kit's in my window. Because Kit's like, he came running out when I got food out, but I don't know where he's at. They all have their own little places where they sit during the day. But if Carl's not home, they like hide everywhere in here. But No, Robert has not had them again. No, yeah, Kit Man's like, he's a good cat. He is. He's a big boy too, but he, he's now like 15 years old, so he can be as fat as he wants. He's living best lives. Oh, shit. Ooh, pea soup. That sounds good, Gerald. He likes to see Kenny suffer. Again, I'm not suffering yet. I think, you know, if I drank the the uh, juice, I probably would, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Now I'm fat. Oh, Kit. Yeah, Kit's a good boy. Oh, jeez, I just farted, Robert. And, whoo. Pickles with ranch? No, it's actually really good. But I use, because those, those pickles are very spicy, misty, so I just dip them in a little ranch. It cools them down. But you still get the extra spices and the heat from the pickle. It's a good combo. I want to see one of those peppers in the jar. Yeah, fuck off. My ass hurts so bad. Yeah, can he do it? Not on a Sunday night. I have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, hell no. 
my dryer should soon be done. I only did like a load of load of laundry. So I did laundry Friday. Yeah, you do it. So I gotta go put that away. <laughs> but sit down to watching 90 Day Fiance. I'm going to bed early too. Once I get rid of Big D off the phone early. But is that like a fuzzy on my beard? I would ask. How the fuck do I have a fu Hey, there's my dryer. Where's the fuzzy at? Oh, there it is. I've got a fuzzy on my beard. It's probably from this hoodie. This hoodie was on the ground. This hoodie was on the ground back in my room. It's got little fuzzies all over it. But my other hoodie's in the dryer, so, in the wash, so. It's from Carl's Belly Plant This is upsetting. Isn't it, Austin? Isn't it? I'm gonna go put away my clothes. It's Revelations, young man. We should turn it into Kenny Does Dares. Yeah, no. I don't think so. We're just like revelating about the topics that be. We're not trying to penalize my butthole. It has Robert. But Memorial Day will be here before we know it, too, unless you're coming in April. But. Yeah, last night was fun. Yeah, they're fun like that. When everyone behaves, when everyone behaves, it's fun. Oh, but Brenda Stroman, what's up, Brenda? We're wrapping up the Sunday night revelations. You should sue the community. I t I have all the ads on that I'm supposed to be able to pick when they go up, but I'm sorry they penalize you. YouTube will not let me turn them off altogether. I don't, well, I think if I turn off monetization, but I like to keep the monetization on because after I might get like 20 cents in my account. I'm an ad whore. It's what funds the channel and makes the channel go round, so. Hit that thumbs up. And Brenda Robert made me eat spicy pickles. And now it's, my butt hurts. I know you yelled at me the other day and told me not to fart. It doesn't look good on me. But now I'm farting with spicy pickles. I'm angry as fuck. You hit the thumbs down. That's all right. Thumbs down, thumbs up. It all, show, it all shows reaction. Everybody always can't be happy. Fine. YouTube will take it one way or another. But yeah, Robert, right now I'm starting to get like heart palpitations, I think, from the heat on those pickles. It's just like kind of, ooh, I can feel it. I can feel it in my heart. It's like, ba-dum, ba-dum, ba It's just a little heartburn, but we'll get through this, I hope. I'm going to have to go take some like freaking Dalt Pepto or something. I did not lie about that. A lot of Maalox, right? See, it's one of the strongest. Oh, gosh. Just hold tight, Kelly, and let it rip. Uh, I know, right? Well, I might go hang out at the toilet a little bit, too, before I go to bed, but... Uh, I mean, who don't... Kenny, don't play like that. <laughs> We keep it real around here, Brenda, that we do, but, but yeah, um, yeah, you eat them, Austin, but yeah, I gotta go put away my laundry and go log into work and start the August month, and um, he would be at the hospital. Yeah, screw you, Austin. Baking soda is good, Kenny. It works fast. I bet it does. 
It is a Callahan Auto Parts Sandusky, Ohio. That's right. Some damn good brake pads, Gerald. I got this on Amazon like several years ago. I like this shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. I'll take that. Fuck you, Austin. <laughs> That's a different... No, it's Sandusky, Ohio. It's the name of the town. It's not freaking Sandusky from Penn State, Austin. <laughs> uh, it is spelled the same way, but... Oh. But it was a fun weekend overall, everyone. And I appreciate you tuning in for the revelations on a Sunday. Good week ahead... Ah, uh, poor guy, yeah, poor guy, in my ass. But uh, uh, tomorrow night we're gonna be doing Skillers, I think, with me and Op. Uh, Tuesday is probably gonna be Officer Miller. Uh, all right, enjoy, enjoy, Brenda. Happy Easter. Yeah, good night, Gerald. See you, man. And then, yeah, then Wednesday's the Rig Prize Wheel. Thursday shopping. What can we play? What new games? Skills? Again, if you missed it, last week me and OP put up. We, we got every single bonus on the new game. I um, mean, yeah, we played them all, but they were kind of fun. But we'll probably play all the games, but. Yeah. And then a normal schedule. And I'm already planning for next Saturday to be shit at home and drink all day, day. But yeah. You were there, dumbass. All right, well, I'm just making sure you saw it because we kind of already did all the new games. I bet, yeah. So, shit. And I fucking put them out there today. I put extra content out there, and it wasn't good enough. And right away, it's like, ooh. I will drink all day, though. I'm already pre-planning. I did not drink all day today, but yeah. What is skills about? You've never watched Pennsylvania skills before? We have Pennsylvania skill games here. They're like slot machines, but they're legal. Well, they're underneath the radar of the gaming commission, basically. They're just like playing tic-tac-toe. I just put up my church video today if you want to go watch it and kind of see how it good plays. But, uh-huh, Austin, uh-huh, I'm a fish. Uh, only if I could drink more, but... Uh, but... You, you, Austin, Misty, Robert, Walt, anybody else who's still here, have a great rest of your Sunday evening. Be well out there. And we'll see you in the work week ahead and see what we can get into. Yeah, I know. I do a live stream tomorrow, but again, there's a video which explains it. They're going to put an IP in your arm full of liquor. Not yet, Austin, not yet. I put enough in my body, but... Good night, everybody. I'm going to go put away my clothes and get ready for bed. i got to go put my nightie on, Austin, so... Have a good one, everybody. Oh, jeez, Big Chisel's calling. He's back in here, so... Good night, Austin. Good night, everybody.